Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. Let's pull quickly a card to summarize your week's energy. So let's see Libra collective. Beaver, okay, this is a very nice card for you Libra. So Beaver, what represents Beaver? Represents family, represents responsibility, represents care. Are you visiting your family? Are you abroad? Are you taking care of uh, family issues? Are you doing more than you, anyone else is doing? Are you uh, maybe trying you know, to chew more than you can actually um, take it? It's about finding a fine balance, not giving all yourself to a family that you should remember as well to take care of yourself. Not You cannot always give, 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 give and get back very little to yourself. It's a very important message for you, Libras, um, because sometimes we all overdo. But I think, uh, Libra, if you are seeking that right balance, I think it's about really telling to people, yes, I will do certain things, but other things need to wait. That's the message for you, uh, my dear uh, Libra. Let's pull some clarifiers. I'm using a traditional tarot weight card deck. And I will pull for you six cards and we will start clarifying this energy. So, Libra, 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 it wants to come, Libra, Libra, what do we have? We have Nine of Pentacles, we have Eight of Pentacles in Reverse and the High Priestess. We have King of Swords, the Magician, and the Temperance. Okay, so there is a lot of wealth and abundance. However, I think you are quite distracted um, because this card came uh, in reverse. Um, and what does it mean? It means because you are comfortable with what you have, because you think it's enough what I have. And I think that sort of... Um, Maybe, you know, made you a little bit, I would say, distracted because you kind of cover all your ends and you think, you know, I, I actually quite pleased with what I have. And uh, I think your intuition is guiding you um, to pay more attention to your well-being rather than something that is tangible. Yes, money is important, um, but I think it's talking very, very strongly about allow yourself to have the break, allow yourself to enjoy the abundance that comes from, you know, different resources. And those different resources could be, you know, these strong emotional connections that you have with your family, with your friends. Um, make sure, again, um, this is what I'm hearing, Libra, not to overdo, because Biva for you, came and said you know obviously that you are working hard and the uh, eight of pentacles in reverse for me is an indication that um don't overdo don't overwork yourself don't overstretch things that are uh, not working or let's say are urgent but you plan like a holiday or a gathering with your family prioritize that prioritize the latter don't think oh i haven't done you know this and that things can wait i always say in my main job uh i'm not doing you know an open heart surgery no one going to die so i think it's if you are not a, a heart surgeon uh, that does actually um this type of operations and not you know um compromising with the human lives um i would say you know things can wait you know uh focus to your uh emotional your self spiritual development and the connections and the happiness that you can receive from people you know that are close to your heart this is really the message i am hearing the second message that i'm getting it's about 
again finding the right balance if you want to be happy because this a king of swords and the temperance for me really speaks it's about your uh essence libra seek the balance if things has been not um, working right in your life if you feel that you are giving yourself too much maybe it's time to really stop and think where you can make the magic where you can actually equalize things that you could say i'm not overburdened myself i'm not um, giving too much to others but i'm trying to strike the right balance the equilibrium and i think it's very important that you uh, communicate very clearly about your intentions what you're trying to achieve um, in the next you know seven days um, maybe you are leading people if you want to be a great example the great leader you need to care about people's emotional um, state and that will help as well for you by knowing that you're doing the right thing that will help you as well emotionally to disconnect uh, from a work from you know all those mundane issues that you are experiencing in your life so finding the right balance making and creating that magic in your life okay i want i feel that i want you know to pull one more card to see what else um we can get for you uh symbolically from the spirit animal with who you might be dealing uh oyster you see the treasures are hidden in you so this is again reconfirming to me if you were uh lacking a time for yourself didn't have a time to rejuvenate um get back you know all the energy this is a perfect time for holiday it's a perfect time for investing in your beauty investing the time spending with the family and you know being a gift to yourself and to others that is the oyster meaning let's uh pull a couple cards from the heart of fairies the the romance cards and let's see libra what is the collective romantic message for you okay we have oh no we have a leaving and the fairy of growth okay so maybe there will be you know some sort of uh, communication with your romantic partner maybe you said something that the person didn't really understand your intention the person didn't understand um you know what you mean by these words and you might find that you will need to clarify and i feel that you will need the break from your uh partner in order that you could find you know that right clarification because i think this week you will really struggle on the rational sort of end um, to justify to find the right words i think you will be very emotional libra this week and you are not the sign that you know taps purely into emotions you are the the sign that seeks the perfect balance to strike perfectly with emotional and rational side the logic cannot be overtaken uh, emotional side and vice versa so you probably will be disconnecting from your partner thinking about what you have said and you will come back when you will feel right i think now i found you know the way how i will communicate and when you will find that way uh resting you know like i say rejuvenating getting back the energy levels in the right place you will get um together and we will become you know even stronger you will be growing together there is a lot of promise in your relationship and the fairy of growth is saying that it's a growing stages maybe you are just recently in relationship if you have been for many years let's say in the marriage it just gives you a glimpse and understanding of a new 
you um, that knowing that you need you know to rejuvenate you know bring your levels to the right uh, sort of degree um, that gives you um, that right harmony within yourself and you can you know explain much better yourself to the partner and your intentions so i hope you enjoy this reading libra i hope to see you next week take care and uh, all the best